Welcome to FNL Producer Magazine's Top News. I'm your host, Jacob Noterman. Before I get started, I'd like to thank this edition's sponsor, Christensen's Biofuels Financial Conference. The event, scheduled for September 27th and 28th in Minneapolis, aims to help those in the ethanol and biodiesel industries make the best use of capital and resources. The conference is produced by Christensen PLLP and organized by BBI International. Visit biofuelsfinancialconference.com for more information. Brazil's Chamber of Foreign Trade will delay the decision on a 20% tariff on U.S. ethanol imports. The agency announced the 30-day delay on July 26th. The U.S. Grains Council, Growth Energy and Renewable Fuels Association released a joint statement on the delay, saying the decision should not be taken lightly and the imports will drive up costs at the pump. The proposal would allow about 132 million gallons of U.S. ethanol imports annually before triggering the tariff. USDA's research generated 244 new inventions and 109 patent applications during the fiscal year of 2016. The agency released the figures in its annual technology transfer report. The 559-page report outlines the public release and adoption of information, tools, and solutions developed through USDA and its partners. The report includes information on several research initiatives related to ethanol, biomass, and bioenergy. It includes information about the new yeast strains, enzymes, and emissions from cattle with specific diets, including distillers' dried grains with solubles. A full copy of the report titled Fiscal Year 2016 Annual Report on Technology Transfer can be downloaded from the USDA website, usda.gov, under Media and Press Releases. The U.S. EPA has opened a comment period on its analysis of GHG emissions from the production and transportation of sugar beets for use in biofuels. The analysis considers non-cellulosic sugar beet sugar converted to biofuel with the remaining beet pulp used as animal feed. The agency says biofuels produced from sugar beets could qualify as either renewable fuel or advanced biofuel under the renewable fuel standard depending on the conversion process. Comments on the analysis must be filed before August 25th at regulations.gov. A copy of the analysis is available on the Federal Register website. For more ethanol news, visit ethanolproducer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.